Hi there, this is Namne and welcome to my channel Namne Technical. In the last video, we saw what is a component and how to create a component in React, right? So, coming to this video, we are going to see what are props in React. So, without any delay, let's start. First of all, open your VS Code and make sure your React server is up and running, okay? See, which are already done in my case. So, first of all, let us get into VS Code, okay? So, this is my VS Code, okay? So, coming to the topic, what are props, right? See, first of all, before getting into coding, we'll see some points regarding props okay and then we will apply all those points practically one by one so first of all let me open my dev.js okay uh, where all the definitions of all the concepts are being written so i'll just uh, press ctrl shift p and i will toggle the word wrap okay i think you can see the changes before this and after this okay so you can see on the ninth line over here what are props okay see uh, these are the four points i listed out about props so we'll go to all the points one by one so the first point is see react props are like function arguments in javascript okay see uh, those are like just function arguments which we pass to our function so in the same way we can pass these props to our components so if you see the second point uh, when react when react come across a user defined component okay see this component which we have created up the previous video so whenever react come across that component what it will do it will pass all its jsx attributes as a single object to that component which can be accessed inside that component by any name okay by any name we can access that by any name but by following the conventions we access it as props okay and this particular object is called as props that's it guys so whenever react come across a user defined component what it will do it will pass all the attributes given to that component as a single object okay we call that object as props generally so let me simplify a little bit for you okay see generally if you take an image tag in normal html okay we do have two attributes right one is the source attribute and the other is a alt attribute see these are the predefined attributes right but these are the predefined attributes so in the same way if you take our react component we can pass our own custom attributes to that react component see if you see on the 16th line see uh, our component name is component okay and see if you observe carefully we are passing a two attributes library and version so these are our custom attributes here we can pass our custom attributes to our component and you can give a uh, any name okay see in this case i am giving it as a library and passing the value as react.js but uh, you wish you can give any name so like this we pass we pass our own custom attributes to a component so just by giving it a name and then assigning it a value okay so here uh, if you take an example here the name of the component is component and i am passing two attributes jsx attributes my custom attributes those are the library uh, whose value is react.js and uh, the other attribute is a version and that the value is 17 so the collection the collection of these two attributes as an object is called as props that's it guys so whenever you declare a component and pass uh, some of the your own custom attributes what it will do react will collect all these and uh, keep in an object and will give it to that component which can be accessed inside that component so that particular object is called props that's it guys okay we'll see in practical okay we'll see in just a couple of minutes so coming to the third point if you didn't pass any of the attributes then the props object will be empty okay so uh, if you observe in the 20th line see here we are not passing see we are just declaring our component and we are not passing any props over here like uh, which we have done in previous so here what we done we pass the two attributes okay one is a library and the other is a version but whereas in this case if you observe in the 20th land we are not passing any of the our custom attributes so in this case when you are declaring a component and when you are using it and when you are not passing any custom attributes what it will do it will just give as an empty object it will not give any error guys if you are if you are still trying to access it it will not give any error just it will give as empty object okay and coming to the fourth point okay the default value of a prop that is if a prop is declared but not given any value will be of boolean true okay see if you observe in the 24th line what we are doing is 
see the component is same or name of the component is component and we are passing a attribute called open okay but see here we are not giving any value as we have done in the previous see here we are declaring a prop and giving assigning a value as react.js and here also if you observe here also we are uh, passing a attribute version and we are assigning it a value 70 but whereas in this case what we are doing we are just passing a prop but we are not assigning any value so in this case the value of it is by default will be of true okay so now if you if you're trying to access this open inside this component and print that value what it will give it will give its value as true okay guys i think i think you got uh, some idea about actually what are props and how to pass props and what will be the default value if you did not give any value so okay so now let's apply all these points one by one in our component in the component which we have uh, created in the previous video okay see uh, the main the main thing you have to concentrate is see this is how we pass props okay if you uh, observe in the line 16 so this is how we pass our own custom attributes so those uh, are called props like this okay just by declaring a name and by assigning it any value if you want the value to be true just don't pass any value just uh, declare it that's it it will uh, by default its value will be true so now let's uh, let's try to apply all these points practically so for that uh, first of all uh, i'll get into i'll expand my source folder and i'll get into index.js so uh, this is the previous code which I have written in the previous video so what i'll do is see i'll just clear all this uh, to make uh, my index.js somewhat uh, looking good so this as well this callback is not required anymore and i will clear all these and i'll just uh, use fun that is my first component okay and uh, here as well i'll just press ctrl s save and uh, my first component also uh, what i'll do is i'll just clear all this uh, my second component is not there anymore okay okay just press ctrl s save uh, what i'll do is i'll just close the sidebar just press ctrl b okay so now uh, let's see uh, actually what is going on over here just press ctrl r to refresh see now we are getting only this is my first component okay so that is what being written over here right this is my first component and we are using this component in our index.js only one time so that is the reason why it is printing only once okay see what did i say uh, let me open my uh, dev.js once again so just press ctrl p that's a shortcut okay what did i say see here if we didn't pass any of the attributes i mean then props object will be empty right so see here if you observe over here in index.js aren't we passing any props over here see this is the component our component okay that is my first component but we are not passing any props over here now let us see will it give an empty object or not if we are trying to access so how to access okay now this is the uh, another point how to access these props actually if you go to the definition again the previous definition component is nothing but a regular javascript which accepts arbitrary inputs okay which accepts arbitrary inputs called props okay so that means here we we are getting an object by default see whenever whenever react come across a user defined component see this my first component is our user defined component right so react came across this what it will do it will pass all the attributes to as one object single object okay to our component where is that it's over here but it is passing uh, behind the hoods it is passing but how to access so you can access it by any name over here but generally by following the conventions we will call it as props so that's why i'm accessing over here the react which uh, which react is providing now let us see actually what it contain okay what i'll do is i'll just console log it okay so just press uh, clg and just press enter p r o p s okay now we should get an empty object right so as we are not passing any custom our attributes over here but we are still trying to access it now it should give us an empty object so let us see what is happening so just press ctrl shift i to open our console and uh, once uh, you refresh your browser see if you see we are getting an empty object right 
so you can see the line number over here my first component and line number two see this is what my first component line number two so here as we are not passing any our own attributes what it is doing it is just giving it an empty object uh, which one that is a third point so now third point is completed now let us pass some of the attributes okay see like this so what i'll do is i'll just copy this okay uh, just get into your index.js and i will pass this over here so now i'm passing to my own custom attributes that is one is the library and the other is a version okay now just press ctrl s save now uh, anyhow we are accessing the props and this uh, no change will happen in this component okay now we are logging these props now let us see actually what these props consists of now it should not be empty right as we are passing two attributes it should not be empty then other than empty what it will give let us see so just uh, refresh your browser see if you observe carefully uh, just now we got an empty object as we didn't pass any attributes but if you pass any of the attributes what it is giving it is giving the collection of all those attributes as a single object see library the value it is react.js and the version the value is uh, the value of it is 17 see that is what we are passing over here right see the library or uh, the values react.js and the version is 17 see that is what we are passing and that is what we are getting right see the m only single object collection of all the props we are pa we are passing from the index.js right so this is how we pass uh, props from where we are using the component and uh, so this is how we access the all the props which are sent uh, by them okay by that in the component inside the component see okay now uh, now uh, this point that is the second point is also being finished now let us see the fourth point right see what is this fourth point if you are not passing i mean if you are passing an attribute but never giving value it should be true right so what i'll do is i'll just uh, remove this okay i'll just press ctrl z and i will say open okay just press ctrl s save see here we are passing a prop called open but we are not giving any value right and if we try to access see this code will never change it will be as it is now what should be the value of open let us see okay now just once refresh your browser see if you see if you see over here see we are passing only open right see we are not giving the value as true but what it is giving the value by default it is true right so this is what i just want to convey to you right now now let us use all those props okay uh i'll just press ctrl z okay back to i'm sorry but i'll pass uh, like uh, see these are the so i'll pass i'll pass this library and version now let us use this okay let us use this library and version in the in our component okay see instead of only rendering uh my first component what we'll do we'll just uh, use these values which which we are passing from here okay the library and the version right okay now what i'll do is i'll do okay return so instead of returning only h1 what i'll do is i'll just clear this just take a parenthesis okay and uh, we'll take okay h1 no problem just type in h1 and tab see in order to use javascript what we'll do we'll just place them in the curly braces right so props. props okay now before that h1 props i'll just uh, name it as i'll just comment this okay i uh, just press ctrl r see here we are we are getting that values right so how to access this right? see this is an object right this is an object and we are calling it as props right so if you want to access this react js what we should do we can uh, we can access it by dot notation right see as it uh, as it is an object we can access this value react.js by saying props dot library okay if you are giving up uh, by any other name like say react okay so at that time we, you can access this react.js by react dot library so 
now i'll access this react js and 17 okay so now let us render onto on them onto the screen right so props dot uh, library right l i b r a r y library and uh, i also want to print the version right so uh, v e r s i o sorry s i o n okay and i also uh, want to write something over here right, right like a uh, library okay oh i'm sorry i'm uh, making a lot of typos library and uh, i will write over here as a uh, ver si one version okay i'll just give it colon over here uh, here as well okay colon uh we are getting these red lines i think you should be able to fix this error JSX expression must be have only one parent element so what should be done i'll just uh, place them under the only one div okay so like that we can we are having only one parent element at the root level that is a div okay now just press ctrl s save now we should be able to see this okay library colon react js and version is of 17 okay now okay just press ctrl r see now you can see over here right library is of react js which is accessed by over from here that is a props dot library and the version is of 17 which is also accessed from the same prop object that is props dot version right so right guys so this is how you pass props to a component and this is how you access them inside a component and uh, use them right see what did i say instead of calling props uh, you can call it as any name right Once let us see actually will it work or not okay uh, what i'll do is i'll just name it as react okay uh, instead of see instead of uh, clearing all of one by one what i'll do is i'll just click alt and just uh, place your cursor wherever you want to change okay so that i can change uh, all at all the places only at once r e a c t react right okay now also we should get the same result right so just press ctrl s save uh, just refresh your browser see we are not getting any error right see you can give it as any name but by following the conventions uh, we should call it as props okay see if you are writing the code and giving uh, it to any other developer see he should be also able to understand right so uh, so i'll just press ctrl z i'll keep as props itself so just press ctrl s save okay uh, let us see one last time okay ctrl r refresh we are getting the same result right so that's it guys that's it for this video if you find any kind of value from this do share with your friends and do subscribe for further updates thanks for watching guys